Screw you guys. I'm going home. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube series on how to create a PC gaming console. In the last episode, we installed and configured Kodi to launch Steam and Big Box. In this episode, we're going to dig a little deeper into the Steam application. This episode specifically is for people who don't plan on paying the $20 to purchase a license for Big Box, uh, and they'd rather just use Steam as their primary gaming user interface, which you can absolutely do. Uh, if you go this route and use Steam to act as your gaming interface, it is free, but it takes a lot more effort and it does take some technical know-how. Uh, but if you do decide to go down this route, then uh, there are some good advantages to doing this. Like once you've configured everything, you can stream every, you know, all your games uh, all over your house. So again, if you're going to use Big Box and set up a system similar to what you've seen in the previous episodes, you can skip this episode. But if you are not that interested or not willing to pay the Big Box license, uh, and you just want to use Steam instead to do to get the same capabilities, uh, that's what this video is for. Okay, so you can see here where we left off, we got done setting up Kodi. So we're going to go ahead and exit out. Okay, and then we need to go ahead and go into Steam. All right, and as you can see, all the Steam games are here. These are all games I purchased on Steam. Uh, so this is the stuff that's already all built in. So what we really want to cover today is... Okay, I've purchased games from Ubisoft's Uplay or EA's Origin service or other game services. None of those games are in Steam. So how am I going to sit on my couch and play my games with nothing but a controller uh, when I've got to launch all these other services to open the games that I want? Um, you know, clearly you need a mouse to do that. Well, no, you don't. So that's what we're going to cover here today. So first up, we're going to take a look at a Uplay game that I purchased from Uplay. It's not in my Steam catalog. It's a game called Far Cry 4. So first thing we want to do here is in the Steam user interface, we want to go to Games, add a non-Steam game to my library. Then here we want to go ahead and browse to the location that Uplay downloaded the game. Okay, so we'll pick Far Cry 4, add selected program. Okay, we're going to filter the Steam list, but only installed games. And we see Far Cry 4 is there. So we're going to right click on Far Cry 4, select properties. We're going to change the title so it's better looking. Far Space Cry Space 4. Okay, click OK. Now what we're missing is the image. We don't want a blank placeholder here. That's not going to look pretty in big box. So we need to go get an image. So what I typically do here is go to Google, type the name of the game, space Steam Grid, go to the image results, and then look through the results to find an image that looks good to you. In this case, I've selected this first, the very first image that's found. Right click, uh, save image as, and then I usually save the image in the same path as the game. Okay. Once you've downloaded an image for your game, go back to the tile in steam right click set custom image then we're going to browse and we're going to pick the image that we just downloaded and click the set image now the we have a nice image the game appears like any other steam game you really don't know that this game was not purchased from steam so we want to make sure that that actually worked so we're going to switch over real quick to big box or not big box i'm sorry we're going to switch over to steam big picture mode okay and then we're going to go down to uh recent or installed but we're going to go find the game that we just installed far cry 4 play it and we need to make sure that the game launches correctly and works and it looks like it's kicking off just fine let this run for a second just to make sure there's no problems And we see the game's loading. And uh, we have access to the Steam community and all the other Steam features, including the FPS counter and the screen capture and friends lists and all of that. Okay, yep, looks good there. Alrighty, so we're going to back out of big picture mode. Alright. Okay, so that worked fine. Alright, 
let me talk to you a little bit about actual Steam games. A lot of Steam games have irritating launchers to where when you select play the game, it doesn't load the game. It loads some launcher that you then have to click a button to play. Uh, clearly, if you're sitting on the couch and you don't have a mouse and keyboard, this is not going to work for you, right? You need to select the game and the game needs to load. So we're going to look at a game like Borderlands 2, for example. And I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, so this is looking at Borderlands 2. If I just play this game, so that just imagine I just downloaded this game and I'm going to play it for the first time or any time I want to play it, it brings up a splash screen. So I've got to then go select play and click play, play with the mouse to get the game going. That's not going to work. So the good news is that most games on Steam support that implement the Steam API, they will provide a parameter switch called no launcher. So if you right click on the game that's got the launcher and select properties, set launch options, and then type in the switch dash no launcher, click OK, close. That should instruct the game to not render a splash screen and instead load the game. So here we're going to click play again. And we see, you know, the game is now loading properly. We didn't need, you know, an extra splash screen in the middle to, uh, to get the game going. All right, so we're going to close out of that. Okay, next up, emulators. So we've got our Uplay games in there. We've got our Origin games in there. We've got all of our launchers turned off. We've got everything working really great for PC games. Um, but let's imagine that you like to play a lot of other games too. Um, so I like to play the N Nintendo GameCube. So in this case, I'll show you how you get uh, an emulated game working in Steam. So what we're going to go ahead and do here is go to Games, Add Non-Steam Game to My Library. Now we're going to browse to the Emulator path. So in this game, we're going to in this case we're going to go into Dolphin and select a Dolphin executable and then add selected programs. So we see Dolphin here. Okay. Once we've done that, we're going to right click, select Properties, and we're going to change the name from Dolphin to Super Smash Bros Melee. Okay. Now the target is the key uh, value that you've got to provide here. So the target is the command line that Steam is going to run whenever you select this game. This is different for every emulator, um, but I've already prepared a command line for launching the game that I want to launch. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to put this into target. Okay, now if you were to use something like Big Box, Big Box comes pre-configured already knowing how to configure like hundreds of emulators. So if you were using Big Box when you went to set up your games, you would just tell it it's a GameCube. These are all GameCube games and they're all using Dolphin and Big Box would automatically figure all those command lines out for you. You don't have to do anything. But Steam is not that way. You need to know the command line that you're going to run uh, before you put it in here. Now, if you do this wrong, whenever you go to launch the game, it'll just say Steam couldn't launch the game and you'll know that the command line is not correct. Um, another good idea to do is to open the command prompt. So you can go here to the start menu and type CMD and then work out the commands here in the command line and click enter. And if the game loads, then you know you're good. You can take that command line and put it into Steam. Okay, so we're going to close this. Okay, so it should be set up now, but we don't have any pretty graphics. So again, we want to go to Google, type in Super Smash Bros. Melee, space Steam Grid, find an image that we want, and then download that image. I've already done that. So what I'm going to do here is right-click, set custom image, and then I'm going to browse to where that image is at. In this case, GameCube, Super Smash Bros. Melee, and it's a PNG image so like that. Set image, and there we go. We've got the game in there. Now let's go test it to make sure it actually works. So we will switch back to Steam Big Picture mode. All right, and we're going to pick Library and then Installed, and let's go down to Smash Bros. Melee, select it, play, and looks like we are good to go. 
All right. All right, so we're good to go there. Now, let me exit out of big picture mode again. All right, out of big picture mode. Okay, so one last thing you are going to probably want to do uh, for that Nintendo GameCube, we're going to right click and select set categories. Okay, I don't have any categories yet, so we're going to make one. We'll call this Nintendo GameCube and select add category and click OK. Now, if you create a category called Nintendo GameCube, then anytime you're in big picture, you can just filter just Nintendo GameCube and you'll just see the Nintendo GameCube games. So let's switch back over and I'll show you what I mean. If you've got a very large library, this is enormously beneficial. So let's just go to library and we're going to go to installed and then we're going to go to filter and we're going to select Nintendo GameCube and we see that our game, we just seeing our GameCube games. So it's a really neat thing, uh, time saver. So, you know, consider doing that for your own stuff. Okay, for the most part, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, you know, you're going to want to get all this stuff set up. Um, you know, before you move this system down to your living room or connected to your TV and kind of retire that mouse and keyboard, uh, you will, of course, occasionally need a wireless mouse and keyboard uh, to add new games into the system. So, you know, the system is not 100% you know, keyboard and mouse free, but 99.9% .9 of the time it is completely keyboard and mouse free. So there you go. Quick tutorial for uh, how to set up Steam if you want to use Steam. Um, we set up that Nintendo GameCube game and uh, here on this computer. Now I could go to another computer in the house and it will actually see that GameCube game that's installed over here uh, and I could actually stream it. So any game that you set up within the Steam Big Picture mode will become instantly available to every other Steam device running on your network. So that really is a great feature. Uh, if you go with like a big box, single installation sort of setup like I've got downstairs, uh, you don't have those features like you can't beam the games around to your house and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it is a neat feature that is um, an advantage of using Steam if you want to use Steam. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, next time we will look at setting up LaunchBox and BigBox. Talk to you later.